the topic for today's video is uh, modularity modularity is one of the most important tools you have for keeping your software understandable and maintainable so how can we measure modularity today i'll focus on looking at a specific metric that you might even have heard of which is a pretty good measurement of how modular is your code and that metric is cyclicality so you probably all of you have heard about cyclicality but we'll actually look at cyclicality and try to use that to figure out the parts of our system uh, which could use uh, improvement and then as a bonus we'll look at another metric which is a derivation of cyclicality which in some sense which has which is a deri which comes from the object oriented world and we'll see how we can apply it to in the in the C and C++ domain so let's get started we're looking at a project that i've already loaded this is a project uh, loaded it's an open source system called iso ag lib and for a minute let's assume we don't know anything about this system and we are looking for where uh, we, we, we will look at metrics uh, and try to figure out where are the parts of my code which are very tightly coupled with each other. So let's go to the metrics tab and when we go to the metrics tab we'll see that there are several metrics but today we'll focus on the architecture metric and in particular we'll look at the system cyclicality metric and what it's telling us is that 47.7% of my files are in cycles uh, which means that almost half of your um, uh, half of your project is involved in cycles of some kind or, or other so let's look inside this system and the hierarchy is really our key tool which will help us uh, navigate to where uh, where the cyclicality numbers are coming from and why they are so high so we can see that there is um, most of it is coming from uh, a directory called xgpl source which not surprising is where almost all our code happens to be but then once we expand it we'll, we'll look at the there is a directory called isoeglib which is 46 percent of that 47 percent so we'll go further down and we'll see aha here is a directory called com uh, which happens to have 42% out of those 47%. So we can see that a very large part of COM actually turns out to be uh, uh, coupled to each other. Uh, and so let's expand COM in turn. And COM in turn consists of many different components. Uh, and we can see uh, the cyclicality for all of those components. And the one that's, so we can see that task controller has 6.7% of that 47%. Uh, and as you scan down, you can see that virtual terminal happens to be 20% of the 47.4%. Uh, and that's almost uh, uh, a little under half of it uh, is coming from virtual terminal client. So there it is. We have actually gone down and we can actually go further down. But at this point, uh, we can see that there, are, that there are two parts to it. And both of those parts are pretty closely coupled to each other. So we'll take a look at a DSM and see if we can map that or we can view it. Uh, so there it is. I'm going to expand and open a DSM. And now we are in ISO AG lib inside Kong. And I'm going to expand that further. Uh, and you'll see that here is a virtual terminal client. And by the way, that also happens to be almost 40% of, of my code happens to be this idea. 40% of the files are here. Uh, and this is the part. Uh, which is very strongly coupled to each other and you can see that a part of it is an impulse and a part of which are actually the definitions uh, happen to be right in the root of that directory so it's been put inside uh, what we call star uh, and it's all coupled to each other uh, so whatever the intent was in terms of being able to separate the definition and the implementation uh, at this point it's all lost uh, it's completely coupled to each other and we can now notice how right from the metric we were able to come down and identify that that's the coupling and then Latix will give you the tools to actually then figure out uh, is there a different way of organizing this uh, well, that's, uh, th th that's, a, that's a different subject uh, but it's all possible in fact within Latix you can actually then 
begin to refactor this. Uh, in, you can try one more thing here. Let's just say we'll remove this from the system. And so again, we'll just simply say, uh, hide this entire uh, virtual terminal. And notice all the metric were quickly re, uh, recalculated. Uh, and now we can see that actually com, uh, the, met the metric was reduced. Uh, there's still lots of coupling. Uh, and now the next area of coupling that we should focus on is task controller, which happens to be uh, where there is a, a significant amount of coupling uh, that's coming from. So now, as I said, um, I'm going to, as a bonus, we'll look at another cyclicality metric, uh, and it's called intercomponent cyclicality. 